Welcome to the channel, I'm the Scottish Astrologer and in this video I talk about the super moon that occurs on the spring equinox. Now this is the first time a full moon or super moon has occurred on the spring equinox since the year 2000 and we won't see another full moon occur on the spring equinox until the year 2030. So yeah, this is quite a fairly rare astronomical occurrence or coincidence that is taking place. I am also going to make a prediction for the spring of 2019 based on this astrological event. Okay, so if you take a look at the chart on screen, you will see the moon located at 0 degrees 9 seconds of Libra. And as you can see, the moment the moon turns 100% fully illuminated, she is located in the ninth house and is making a square aspect to Jupiter in rulership in Sagittarius which is in the most powerful of houses, the first house, and is rising during this astronomical event. Now, the ninth house represents law and legality, as well as other things, but law and legality is the areas that will be activated, so to speak, on this occasion, through the sign Libra. Now, Jupiter represents politicians, governors, magistrates, people with power basically. And the moon represents the crowd or people in general, and more importantly, the minds of the people. Now, Jupiter just happens to be conjunct the unfortunate fixed stars, Lesaf, which is a scorpion sting, and Shola, which is the root. Now these two unfortunate fixed stars are unfortunate, okay, very unfortunate and quite nasty in their very similar energies of danger, desperation, immorality and malevolence. They are also connected with accidents, catastrophes and operations. Now, these fixed stars' energies get delivered to the supermoon through a harsh square aspect involving a powerfully situated Jupiter and the moon. Now, just to recap about the fixed stars, I think I said they were very unfortunate. That's, they're only unfortunate because there's a difference between very unfortunate and unfortunate fixed stars. But basically what's very unfortunate about these fixed stars is basically the energies that are described of them. Pre pretty extreme danger, desperation, accidents, catastrophe, immorality, malevolence. So in their energies which are delivered to the moon, they are very unfortunate in that respect. But they are just two unfortunate fixed stars, just to clarify. Okay, now, the square aspect, okay, involving the moon and Jupiter located in a very powerful area and in a sign it rules, so it's very powerfully situated. So the square aspect involving Jupiter, the fixed stars it's conjunct and the moon, okay, during the moment of 100% illumination of the super moon. All this will produce heavy political turmoil, okay, and it's all going to be brought on through Brexit. Now, even more interestingly, this super moon, which I am calling the Brexit super moon, okay, is conjunct the UK Prime Minister Theresa May's sun sign of Libra. So with this, I can predict with near certainty, okay, that Theresa May will no longer be the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, either before the end of the year, okay, but I predict that she will be gone before the end of spring and the start of summer, okay, or very close to that time frame, and she will be forced to resign, okay. 
Now, no matter which way Brexit goes, there is going to be a lot of trouble, okay? There doesn't need to be, but there's going to be. Now, if we do not leave on March the 29th, a lot of people are going to be very, very angry as they are going to feel betrayed and it is now clear to them that our so-called democracy is in fact a sham and your vote doesn't count. And if we do leave on March 29th with no deal, then millions of people are going to be extremely scared, okay, and freaked out at the prospect with the uncertainty as they see it, okay. There's nothing really to fear, but the, through the media and that, they're going to create, and they already have created, a fear-mongering environment, okay if you were to listen to that and millions of people do still listen to all the mainstream and so they are going to be totally scared at the prospects okay with the uncertainty so either way there is going to be unease shall we say and also the supermarket shelves will begin to empty and this is just okay this is only because the people are scared of the unknown and so anyone with enough money to buy a couple of months worth of food and essentials will go out and they will do so and this will cause people to think all the food is going to run out or is running out and this will cause mass panic okay but really it's only because the people are scared and are emptying the shelves themselves okay buying way more food than they would usually do and lots and lots of people are going to be doing the same things and that's what's going to empty the shelves it's nothing to do with the actual brexit itself it's to do with this fear okay and as well most people without the money okay for a couple of months food and essentials they will turn to crime okay and just steal what they believe that they need okay again it's all just because of the fear they don't actually need to do any of this so just be aware of this because this is going to take place and just be aware why it's nothing to do with actual brexit it's to do with people being scared and freaked out okay now there is another two scenarios that are highly likely to take place if the EU gives the UK an extension to Article 50 and this being either another referendum on the question or another general election okay now or again just leave with no deal but either in any of these scenarios will cause severe political turmoil okay that will alter the course of UK politics forever because the people will have lost any and all little faith that they had left in the political system. Now most people already have no faith but a lot of people still do but this is a moment where they'll lose all faith through Brexit, through the politicians and their actions, okay, and not honouring the vote which was the biggest turnout for any vote in UK history okay now if you look on screen you will see the national birth chart for the united kingdom and you will see that our ascendant is seven degrees libra so this brexit supermoon actually conjuncts the ascendant of the uk again the ascendant is one of the most powerful areas of a birth chart so this Brexit supermoon will have the most potent of effects for the UK again in the form of the Prime Minister stepping down as this moon is conjunct our sun sign and again with everything I've explained through Jupiter I can almost guarantee she will be gone okay so again this moon will have the most potent of effects for the UK in the form of the Prime Minister stepping down and all the political turmoil and trouble and constitutional crisis for the nation like I have explained in this video okay so watch out for all that especially if you live in the UK as I do just don't get sucked into all the fear there's nothing to worry about 
it's all by design so just remember that okay folks i think that will do for this video okay please like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell at the right hand side of the subscribe button till next time take care